Ben, also on Saturday, you must be asking the players just to do most of the same things they did last Saturday. Yeah, we want to build on that. It's a very different type of game. Uh, we're also different formation, different way of playing. So um, we want to keep the positives from the, from the performance, but there's also some changes we're going to have to make because the type of game it's going to be. Uh, and we need to have that flexibility within games. But ultimately, a really good away win. You know, fantastic defensive performance in the first clean sheet. You know, we want to target another clean sheet on Saturday and um, uh, and go and put in another positive performance and hopefully follow up with another three points. Yeah, and the squad look like they are adept at those changes and adaptations that you might need them with formations and personnel because obviously you had from the start Will Greenwich coming in and then halfway through uh, Fikra Keller coming in and just looking seamless as they got on with the game. Yeah, and that's credit to the players for, for how they train and how they prepare and um, the detail that we go into that they can come in and do that and Kells in particular, even though he, he missed a lot of pre-season with the injury and uh, his dedication, work ethic, professionalism has been absolutely first class and that's the reason he was back ahead of schedule and was able to come on and contribute so, so heavily on, on Saturday. Um, and it's a great example to the, to the rest of the squad, not just our squad, but the academy squad of, you know, that's what professionalism looks like, that's what dedication looks like and you get your rewards if you do the work. Yeah, and obviously he was one of the older players in a young lineup on Saturday, so how much will having someone like that help those young players on and off the pitch? Yeah, massively. Kelsey is a really big influence around the training ground. He um, He's a positive guy, comes in with a smile on his face every day, but works. He's got a work ethic about him and drive standards and, you know, along with the, the other senior players in the group, they, they drive it. and. We've also got younger players that are developing that, that leadership and add into it all the time. So we want that, even the, the young 18, 19 year olds breaking into our squad when we have uh, open conversations and meetings, they've got a voice like everyone else. We want them to think about the game. We want them to, to challenge and, and ask questions and um, the senior players help to build that bond. Yeah, and one of the younger players that's been involved pretty much all the way up to Saturday, but coming in on loan was Nico Lawrence after a very, very good start in those games. Uh, unfortunately, now he's going to miss some. Yeah, a big blow for, for, for Nico and, and obviously for us as a club. He's a um, really talented young player has come in and, and done really well so far. Um, but it's a serious ankle injury and he's, he's going to miss a period of months. Um, we're just talking with Southampton at the moment in terms of what's best for him rehab-wise and uh, what the best way forward now in terms of whether he needs surgery and what that rehab process is going to be. Um, but Nico, although it would be a disappointment, the challenge for him now is uh, use this time to come back a better player. He, he physically, uh, tactically, mentally, can he use this period of time now so that when he is back fit and available and uh, the injury's healed, that uh, he's in a better place. And uh, that's what he's got to use this time for and, and not be too disappointed and too down. It's got to be, OK, it's happened, I've had a setback. Uh, but it's far, far worse things going on in the world. I'm going to roll my sleeves up and, and come back better. Yeah, and just going back to this weekend and the, the preparation for it, how challenging has it been for you to kind of keep everyone's feet on the floor after such a euphoric ending to the game? We saw that in the celebrations after the match immediately yeah. about getting back to work on the Monday and or the Tuesday and and just preparing now and it, yeah. not forgetting it, but yeah. I think we're pretty good at that. I think we've got a clear working week, a process, a way that we do things. And um, it's that old adage of we're not going to get too high when we win, we're not going to get too down when we, when we don't. So we, we're consistent with that. So, uh, you know, we didn't start the season as we wanted to, but the process has been consistent and, and we're continually working on things. And likewise, after Saturday, it's not come in and we've had a jolly up all week. We've been, we've been working hard. We want to build on that. We want to improve and we want to win again at Warsaw on Saturday.